Hello YouTube and welcome to a new tutorial by Exclusive Nonsense. Today we're gonna learn how to give Barack Obama a beard. This is the final um, final image that's gonna, that we're gonna produce. Looks pretty realistic to me. I don't know about you guys. So first of all, uh, sort of over. We're gonna start with this picture and we're gonna open it in Photoshop. After that, we're going to use the brush that I uploaded uh, that is in the link uh, in the description. It's made by a different channel who made a different tutorial about how to make a beard, like how to batch up a beard. Now we're going to make a beard for a president and see how badass he's going to look like. First of all, we create a new layer on top of the old layer. We want opacity to be... Uh, fair opacity of 89%, around 90%. We don't want too dark and not too bright. I mean, not too. Oh, uh, not the flow. We're gonna change the. We're gonna leave the flow alone. We're gonna change the opacity. 89. Let's do 95%. We don't want a full opacity and we don't want it too low. So we want to go here and we want to start and make our basic shape. Actually, let's go with 100%. And for the size, depending on the resolution, we want to adjust the size. So let's go with 33 for this one for now. So we want to kind of make a basic shape that we're going to use. Uh, we're going to adjust the lighting and everything later. It doesn't matter if you screw up at this point. So once you get that, mm, get some on the chin, some on here, underneath the lip. You want to go and give it some more. And what I'm doing is I'm just zooming in, zooming out, so I can adjust this properly. We want to. It's not. A problem if it goes out of the range of the face and you want to click multiple times just so you can renew that layer this is uh, for some for some reason this brush works better when you're clicking rather than when you're just dragging so we want to keep clicking give it a little bit more um, I'm gonna go ahead and give him some more as fast as we can we're gonna fix it again we're gonna fix those things that are coming out of the screen after we're done I wanna back up and you come around here and we wanna we'll give him a little bit over here and again and you wanna make sure that you get the shape right so you don't touch up too much at the end because that's annoying so we want to get the shape we want to go around here and we want to um, make sure oh, sorry accidentally changed the color so we want to keep going all right now next we're going to create a new layer so again we're going to do the same thing what happens is when we create a new layer it gives us more density and it makes it more realistic so we want to spread these hairs around here or in this area we're going to have some on in the neck area as well, just a little bit over here. Let's just simulate an actual beard. And we want to keep the brush this way and we want to go and follow up with the basic shape. want to go, have some here because it goes that way. Some over here. And again, it's 
fine if it's not accurate. Alright. Now we want to go ahead and reduce size, make a new layer, and so we can get more accurate results. So we're going to go like this, and we want to fill up these spots right here. Mm. I don't want to go that much deeper. I'm going to get this spot right here. Let's add in a little more size. Okay, and Now what we want to do is we want to get more here. Now the next step is adding another layer, making it a little bigger, and we want to get some more. Some more hairs. Make it a little smaller. Oh, no, not too small. Let me get these spots right here. Uh, Alright. Now what I want to do is we go underneath the beard layers and create a new layer. And in that new layer we want to take a round um, brush and we want to set the opacity to 66%. And we want to make it a little bit bigger. So this way we would cover the skin that shows up underneath the brush. And it's again same thing with this it's fine if it goes in wrong spots because we can adjust that later we got second chances and want to go around here make sure we get everything right Next thing, we want to go up here, create a new layer, and we want to select the color, the skin, and get a little dark brown. And we want to get the brush again, and we want to go ahead and lighten up this beard to give it more realism. And now to add more realism to it, we're going to have to do the right ref light reflection on the beard and some gray hair. So we're going to get the white color and we want to go here, set the opacity to around 70% and uh, actually 54 would be good. And we want to go here and just randomly put on some gray hairs. These are the beard hairs that reflect th that are reflecting the light because they show up white from the flash and lights and everything and that's in the l highlighted area and we want to go and reduce the opacity more and we want to get some on the shadowed area as well simulating gray hairs and the light reflection kind of gradiating from side to side Next thing we want to do, we want to go back down here and we want